We all face times of adversity in our lives. It's how we deal with hard times that really matters, though. Instead of drifting into despair, some people have the ability to use positive thinking and hard work to work through any kind of obstacle. Rob Wiles met such a person in Nashville. She's an artist, and her belief and faith in the future seem to shine through her work. One of the most lasting impressions you have when you meet Deneen Coleman Ruff is this one. <laughs> She's a woman who seems happy in her work, even though her life has not always been easy. Well, I went through uh, breast cancer, uh, homelessness, domestic violence. My three children and I, we survived it all. And it's basically, you know, these things, they don't define us. You know, we just, you know, basically try to find a way. For me, I lean on my faith. How did those things you think affect you as an artist? Well, you know, you, you're able to put your emotion more into your drawings and paintings. This is life, life happens, you know. I mean, we go through things, you know, we get up, brush our knees off and keep it moving, you know. And that's the way I was taught as a child, you know. I mean, especially being a, a military brat, you better not cry. <laughs> you better keep on walking, you know. But that's what we do in life. Deneen's life has taken its turns all right. She was born in Nashville into a military family, so that meant travel to distant places. She's been through divorce and life as a single mother with three children in New York City. You know, that must have been tough. But she doesn't see it that way. I was walking down on the streets of New York, and I'm like, I'm walking down the streets in Harlem. Count Basie and Lena Horne, you know, and just so many different people, you know, President Clinton, you know, you know, walk these same streets and it's like, you know, I'm here, I'm in New York. I mean, we was going through some hard times, but we also went through a lot of great times in New York City. The road of Deneen's life finally curved around and led her back to Nashville and to the work she loves, being an artist. For her, it's fulfilling but demanding. I get up at 5.30, thank God, because, you know, I'm up. I'm able to walk. <laughs> I'm in my right state of mind, you know, so I praise him, and then I start doing my art by 6.30. Deneen is one of those artists who absolutely thrives on having her work seen. In fact, over her long career, she's had her work shown everywhere from nursing homes to the Empire State Building in New York to the Parthenon in Nashville. Deneen doesn't let the world defeat her, but of course it affects her work. Here's a painting she created just after 9-11. It really affected us and, and the whole world, you know, at that point. The curator at the museum here at the Parthenon says Deneen was chosen for an exhibit because of how her faith shines through her work the elderly man, he's holding a cross and he's, and he's holding a candle. The stained glass in the background represents how fragile life can be. And I, you know, done it in watercolors because of the tears from the world, from the people. These days, Deneen stays busy painting portraits, capturing personality with her brush, or perhaps with a needle and thread since she also creates quilts, as warm and inviting as any grandma used to make, but perhaps with a more modern message, like the harsh reality of gang violence. Our children, you know, they was getting killed, you know, for what, the color of a, you know, a bandana. And so I was going through chemo at that time. Although I wasn't really feeling that well, I really wanted to make a difference, you know, with that quilt. It's not surprising that Deneen would be so moved by horrors like 9-11 or gang violence. 
She's a woman who feels very deeply and events do move her. When I'm feeling something or feeling upset or, or sad or sometimes I, I, I just can't wait to draw something or, you know, or paint something because it's like, oh my goodness, I want to, you know, I got this feeling I got to do it. You might think that feeling emotions so deeply and acting on them so quickly might leave a person a bit of, well, an emotional wreck. But just remember this. <laughs> and then think how life affects Denise or how she affects life. I love what I do. This is not a hobby. This is, you know, my life. This is what I do. And uh, I've been doing it ever since I've been five years old. I work hard at what I do, and I'm inspired by life. Inspired to overcome and create. That's Deneen Coleman Ruff of Nashville.